Installing second exchange server 2016 in graphical mode. We have already installed one exchange server called EX1 and now we are installing second exchange server in our organization called EX2. The reason for installing a second exchange server is later on we will create DAG or database availability group. This server has the same specs and same disk layout as our other server. And this server we will install using graphical interface. To save time, I have already installed Exchange prerequisites, including .NET Framework and uh, Unified Communication Runtime APIs. Of course, uh, I need to install some other Windows features as well. So I will copy this commandlet. This you will find in Microsoft Exchange TechNet page. All right. What I will do now, I will reboot the server. We are back, and now what, we, what I would like to do is to run Microsoft Exchange Server Setup. When we run Exchange Setup, it won't ask for organization name. It won't prepare a scheme or anything because it's a second Exchange Server. When we install our first Exchange Server, then it's create Exchange Organization. Second Server just simply joins it. So now Setup is initializing. Okay, welcome to Exchange Server 2016. We accept license agreement. I won't go for recommended settings. I will go for manual settings. I will select mailbox role. And I will select to install Exchange required features and role automatically. I will leave the default path. And I will not disable malware scanning. It's checking for prerequisites. Okay, now we are installing Exchange Server. It will take very long time, so I will pause it. And I will resume this video when we will be ready. So let me pause this video. And I will join you shortly. All right, setup has been completed. We have successfully installed our second exchange server. It was a piece of cake, isn't it? OK. So as usual, after installing exchange server, what we need is a good reboot. And we are back after reboot.
Now I'm logging in again as an administrator. And let's verify Exchange Server installation by going to Services. So let's wait for Server Manager to appear. Mm -hmm. Good. I can feel it. It's there. There is some heaviness on this machine which clearly indicates that exchange is here. <laughs> okay, good. So our second exchange server EX2 is ready. It means we need to do some extra tasks like setting up virtual directories, same as like EX1. And then we will be all good to go uh, for creating DAC. Of course, I need to set up a network for EX1 and EX2. In our case, we will install additional network for replication. So here it is, Exchange Server 2016 has been installed successfully.